Hello everyone, I am Arima Khanam and welcome back to Balaji Online Classes. Today I am here to teach you lesson number 7 that is on top of the world. Many of the people in this world are adventurous and they love adventure sports. In this chapter we will be studying about two of the people, two of the most uh, adventurous people who are Sir Edward uh, Hillary and Tenzing Norgay who were the first to reach the summit of Mount Everest in 1953. So let's read the chapter and understand what they did and what difficulties they faced to reach the summit. Mount Everest is the highest mountain in the world. Sir Edward Hillary and Tenzing Norgay were the first to reach the summit of Mount Everest in 1953. Many mountaineers had made some unsuccessful attempts to scale this mountain before. Eric Wehenmeyer successfully overcame his handicap of being blind to scale the mountain peak. In 2001, a 16-year-old student from Nepal, Temba Shera, stepped on the highest mountain peak in the world to become the youngest mountaineer until then to, to do so. His record was broken by an American teenager, Jordan Romero, in 2010. Jamling Norgay climbed Mount Everest in 2003 to mark the 50th anniversary of ascent by his father Tenzing and Sir Edward, uh, Edward Hillary. What is, un, what is common among river rafting, mountaineering, trekking, paragliding? What difference do you found, uh, find in these uh, adventurous sports? They uh, seem to be... Uh, similar but they are very difficult they are adventurous sports and it can be done only by the adventurous people all of them are physically daunting activities they are too difficult activities everyone cannot practice it or do it that offer unusual and exciting experience they are all adventure sports Mountaine mountaineering is one of the most difficult adventure sports. It is the sport of climbing mountains. Mountaineering jo hoti hai, jab hum paar pe climb karte hai, climbing mountains, that is called mountaineering. Only a brave heart will think of going to unknown ter uh, territories and conquering the mountains. Yet there is no dearth of mountaineers, uh, mountaineers uh, in this world. So there is a not scarcity of mountaineers in this world there are many mountaineers who love to scale the mountains and reach the summit the, they climb small and big mountains as a, a sporting activity however climbing mount everest the highest mountain in the world is the ultimate dream of any mountaineer so if a person is a mountaineer and he practices mountaineering he, it would be a dream of that mountaineer to reach the summit of Mount Everest. Many mountaineers had tried their luck at the conquest of this mighty mountain before. In 1924, mountaineers Sandy Irvine and George Mallory made an unsuccessful attempt to the cost of their lives. So, uh, Sandy Irvine and George Mallory, they lost their life to reach the summit as it was their dream. They had practice a lot of difficult times, bhi face kiye hoge, but it was unsuccessful for them to reach the summit and they lost their lives. The glory of having a successful complete the Everest expedition first goes to Sir Edward Hillary, Edmund Hillary of New of New Zealand and Sherpa Tenzing Norgay of Nepal. So Sir Edmund Hillary was uh, from New Zealand and uh, Sherpa Tenzing Norgay was from Nepal. They conquered Mount Everest in 1953 as we read it before in the paragraph. The first genuine ascent ever since the first conquest it was. Many mountaineers have successfully met the challenge of this peak. In 2006, another New, uh, New Zealander named Mark Inglis performed an absolute incredible feat. He became the first double amputee to reach the summit of Mount Everest after 40 tough days of climbing in April and May 2006. The 47-year-old Inglis made his final push for the top from 
camp for 4 foot 50 meters from the summit in perfect weather on 15th May. An astounding deed indeed. He was standing on his artificial legs on top of the world, literally. So, what do you mean by amputee? Amputee is a person who has uh, had an arm or a leg cut off in medical surgery or operation. There stood the, the person, Mark Inglis. He was handicapped and he reached the summit and uh, with his artificial legs on top of the world. It is literally like we cannot, we don't have any words to say uh, for him. The <clears throat> they stood the legless mountaineer, happy beyond words, enjoying his triumph, gazing on all below him, thereby sending out an inspiring message to others with disabilities that their ambitions should never be limited. So he became an idol for the people who are handicapped or physically challenged people that nothing is impossible. As you all know, impossible itself says I am possible. So nothing in this world is impossible if you have that guts and that capability and that, that brave heart, you can touch the sky. You can do everything. During the punish, uh, punishing climb, his prosthetic legs, means artificial legs, had not caused any problems. When one artificial leg had broken earlier during the climb, English described it as a minor handicap, hiccup. He was carrying a spare set of legs as well as equipment to make necessary repairs in case anything went wrong. So what he did when he was climbing the mountain, uh, as he was handicapped, he was carrying another set of um, uh, legs with him if something went, goes wrong. So he will uh, fix it. <coughs> In 1982, he and uh, he and fellow climbers Phil Dooley were trapped in an ice cave for 14 days on Mount Cook, New Zealand's highest peak. So they were trapped. Un logo, wo log band ho gaye the ek ice cap mein for 14 days. Could you just believe that? English ma uh, English managed to keep his head and did not panic. But both of them suffered frostbite and they had to have both legs amputated below the knee. So, kya hota hai? Itni baraf mein 14 days rehna, it's really not possible for any of the person. So, uh, unke saath kya hua? They faced the frostbite and they got their legs amputated. Both legs, you can say. Since 2006, English has taken uh, on a number of challenging roles and succeeded, ranging from legless sky guide to research scientist after earning a degree in human bio biochemistry. He also won a silver medal in cycling at Sydney Paralympics. Paralympics, which are Olympics mein games, which are disabled uh, people, ke liye games hote hain, usse hum Paralympic kehte hain. that was done in 2000, uh, 2000 and he took part in that. Before leaving on his expedition to Mount Everest, English said that the fact, uh, the fact that he had lost both legs and that no one has ever scaled the world's highest peak with the two artificial leg was of secondary importance. So no one in this world uh, who doesn't have two legs and they are with their amputed legs or uh, uh, prosthetic legs, they will ever try or think to go on the Mount Everest. But he did it. He said with uh, conviction, I am not doing this to be the first double amputee. He was, he said, I am not doing this to be the first double amputee. And he climbed and he reached the summit. I didn't, I didn't do that for that. If I am, then it is the icing on the cake. Or agar aisa socha jata hai, to it's like the case of icing on the cake. But it's much more than that. I have been climbing most of my life and Everest is the achievement really. So as he was a mountaineer, so it was his dream to reach the summit. Chahe unki leg ho ya na ho, unke andar itni shamta thi, itni taakat thi, aur unki jo 
वो इतने प्रेरित थे और वो चाहते थे कि वहां पर पहुंचे तो कोई भी बाधा कोई भी डिफिकल्टी या कोई भी बैरियर उन्हें रोक नहीं पाया इट गिव्स यू द नॉलेज ऑफ एम्पावरमेंट टू डू अदर थिंग्स इंग्लिश हु केप्ट ए वेबसाइट डायरी ऑफ हिज क्लाइम सेट द एक्सपेडिशन वॉज ऑल्सो एन एफर्ट टू रेज मनी फॉर ए कैम्बोरियन सेंटर दैट प्रोवाइड्स रिहेबिलिटेशन फॉर लैंड माइन एम्प्यूटीज पोलियो विक्टम्स एंड अदर डिसेबल्ड पीपल सो ही डिड अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स फॉर द डिसेबल्ड पीपल ऑल्सो सो इस चैप्टर से आपको क्या समझ में आता है इस चैप्टर से ये समझ में आता है हमें Uh, हमें ये मॉरल टीचिंग uh, मिलती है कि दैट नथिंग इन दिस वर्ल्ड इज इम्पॉसिबल इफ यू हैव दैट गर्ड्स एंड यू हैव दैट पार इन माइंड दैट आई कैन डू इट यू कैन डू इट अल्टीमेटली यू कैन डू इट एट एनी कॉस्ट इफ यू हैव दैट इन माइंड सो प्लीज कभी भी निराश मत होइए कि अगर आप किसी चीज में हार जाते हैं या फेल हो जाते हैं तो ये मत सोचिए कि ये एंड था आप गिर के ही संभलते हैं और आपको जब चोट लगती है जैसे आप कोई प्रैक्टिस करते हैं वेन यू गेट हर्ड देन ओनली यू लर्न तो कीप प्रैक्टिसिंग कीप डूइंग एंड कीप गोइंग फॉरवर्ड नेवर स्टॉप सो दैट्स इट इन दिस चैप्टर व्हाट यू नीड टू डू इज यू ऑल नो दैट यू डाउनलोड द एक्सरसाइजेस फ्रॉम स्कूल मित्रा एंड डू इट इन योर फेयर नोट एंड बुक्स एंड देन वेट फॉर माई नेक्स्ट वीडियो दैट विल बी फॉर लेसन एट एंड टेक केयर ऑफ योर बाय